41 minutes past the hour right now. Let's talk about what's making national headlines. Our own Russ Mitchell, of course, all over that for what's happening now in America. And I understand there's, there's a pivot in the investigation of the Baltimore Bridge collapse tonight. Hey, Christy, that is correct. The rescue mission for at least six missing people is now shifted to recovery. An investigation continues to determine the exact cause of the cargo ship crash that caused the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The NTSB said today it has recovered the ship's recorder data. Here's what Maryland's governor said this afternoon. So the, the latest is that the investigation now is uh, in, involving everybody, uh, you know, from federal authorities uh, to, to state authorities, uh, really trying to uncover both what happened, what led up to this, uh, but then also everything about the aftermath, uh, about the response. And so this is going to be a thorough investigation. It's, uh, it's going to be a long one, um, but we have to make sure that we get the answers uh, that, we're, that we're seeking in this. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says it is too soon to say how long it will take to reopen the port or replace the bridge, which, by the way, was opened exactly 47 years ago this week. An appeals court is extending the block on a new controversial Texas immigration law. That law would allow police to arrest migrants suspected of illegally crossing the border and state judges to order people to be deported to Mexico. Today's block extension was issued by a New Orleans appeals court. And today in Orlando, allies of Governor Ron DeSantis and the Walt Disney Company reached a settlement in the lawsuit over how Walt Disney World is developed in the future. Both parties agreed to drop state lawsuits and work together moving forward. That deal ends a nearly two-year battle.